everybody and welcome to another video so today we're having a little bit of an unboxing and we do a spray out normal sort of thing i do but it's a, a another porpoise spray gun i've got one of their professional series it's a prd 515 but it's a little bit different in that you can actually convert this to effectively uh, a mini gun by changing it to a prd 510 so we'll get it out the box if you order it in a 515 you get a 600 milliliter cup if you order it in a 510 you actually get a 250 milliliter cup so let's see what we got i love the color of this thing that's what we got very well made these things i'm starting to lose my um weariness as to whether these things will be reliable or not because they do seem exceptionally well made certainly on a par with things like Segola and things like that and I would say probably well certainly on a par with Devilbis and something like the GTI Pro Lite or Techno Pro Lite better than that I would think because they just fit and finish seems to be very very good but anyway this is the PRD 515 but they also make a PRD510, same body, but you change a few components. But it's possible to get, as I have here, this is in 1.3, they make it in 1.4, 1.6, and 1.8. I did buy it, I haven't been given it, I did buy it. Uh, I genuinely wanted it, I'm trying to get the set, because they are all, in my opinion, very, very good. So, you know, I want to try them, basically. But what you can get for these things, and they've also got a... Um, a retail website there's a, there'll be a link in the description if you want to go to that and it will give you pricing on these i think the price on this is about 200 dollars uh, 200 us dollars uh whether that's good value or not i don't know yet because i haven't used it but uh certainly build quality wise and that i think it, it's absolutely fine which is interesting because somebody said to me the other day um when i was i did a uh of an unboxing video on the 715 and 717 um, I've got those out because we'll just offer them up and you, you'll see the difference in size between this one and the other ones but he said to me uh, he said oh he said they're quite expensive uh, in, in my country uh, it'll be around about 200 US dollars uh, delivered uh, he said and I can get an LPH 80 for similar money well in my country you can't so it does depend where you live as to what sort of value these things are uh but for me this is this is sort of uh well this is not sort of it is this is the sort of money you would pay for an az4 and then also what a az4 uh, or a gunza nsi what a az4 and i would i would i, I would I haven't used it, but certainly build quality wise, this this seems much much better. But you know, we we have to see. I can only I can only speak as I find. And you look at these things and you you feel them. Um, I've whipped this out. I've actually I actually took this off to have a look. I didn't put the camera on, but the, the build quality seems excellent. And this isn't full of grease like some of the guns you get. Uh, so yeah, I've been very impressed with it. But what I wanted to show you was what you need to do to actually change this into effectively a minigun. This is a 1.0. You can see the caps are different, so the air consumption is different as well. But these two here are, hopefully you can see that they are quite different. I say quite different. They obviously fit on the same gun head. Come on, don't play. That's it. I'll take a picture and insert it anyway. But you can see they are they are quite different. The shape of them is quite different. The size of the air holes is quite different. So the air consumption is about half on the uh, the one point naught version. Uh, you also get a tip in the kit, and you get a baffle which has got different hole arrangements, less holes in it, so you're getting less air through. And you also, of course, get a needle. Uh, and the needle is actually different in the 1.0. I don't know about the 0 0.8. I will eventually get a 0 0.8. But just to show you what you do to convert it, it's, it's pretty straightforward. I'm pulling the needle back. Uh, you literally undo that. Now, the sealing arrangement for that is just a taper seal, as you can see there. Well, hopefully you can see 
just to taper seal so it just seals on this taper so there's no um, nylon washers or anything on the end there is a seal there which I have actually on my PRD 625 I haven't had to touch that I just take the baffle off clean the baffle clean around here and I haven't removed that yet but it's only a, a small little gasket you can get parts for these they haven't got them on their website yet but you can get parts for them uh, which I suppose is handy although if you're going to order one spare part it's probably not going to be going to be worth it because the postage will be quite dear but um, I'll try and get a, a few of those just in case anything happens with them but that's the sealing arrangement so you change the baffle as you can see the baffle is different hopefully you can see this is the 1.3 and this is the 1.0 I don't know whether this is the same for 1.0 and 0.8 because I've only got a 1.0 set up uh, but the baffle is different and obviously as I said the needle is different same length as you would expect but you're probably not going to be able to see this but the tip is actually different yeah you can see it this one here which is the 1.0 has a finer taper which you'd probably expect being a smaller size um, PPS adapters for these are uh, a number 9 so an S9 in the PPS2 it's a 16mm by one5 thread so it'd be a male adapter you would need but an, an s9 we've established that an s9 is the one to have between us and some other guys on the uh, youtube uh, comments but to give you an idea of size wise of this this is the pro light s and this is the prd so this is more of a midi size gun uh, hopefully you can see there how much this goes over the top of it bear in mind we haven't got the cap on this one so it's not that sort of size, but it is, it's not quite the same as a full-size gun. This is the PRD-65, which is what I would call the slimmer version of the... Well, it's not a slimmer version. It's a different version to the 715, but they spray very, very similar. Well, the same. Uh, so this is handy if you want less, less bulk. It's not quite so well-balanced as the 715, which we'll have a look at in a minute. But I'm, I'm only trying to give you a, an idea of size so that's that one there so you can see this this one the 515 is slightly smaller so this would actually be i think quite a good middle of the road gun because it, it's capable of uh 1.3 1.4 1.6 1.8 0.8 and 1.0 uh I haven't used it yet so I can't say whether it performs all right but I'm reasonably confident and I say that because I've used all the other porpoise guns I've got and they've all performed very very well uh, very well particularly these two the uh, the PRDs are uh, lovely guns but yeah uh, I've got that one out just to give you an idea of sizing between that and that as you can see or hopefully you can see it's a much, much smaller gun. Don't worry about these brass things. These are just what I put on there. Uh, it allows me to fit uh, De Vilby stuff on top. I just screw that on top, leave it on there. And then anything De Vilby, uh, which is a 3 8 uh, BSP thread, just goes straight in there. So what I'll do is I'll put a um, camera on my head and we'll do the normal spray out and um, see what pattern we get with a 515 1.3 setup and with the 1.0 setup. Okay, so I've set the pressure to two bar. We've got the PRD515 cap on it, so it's a 1.3. I'm going to use a NSO water spanner to give us a distance, which is actually 7 inches. And we'll see what we get. Again, I'll lift this up before it has too long otherwise it just uh, drips and we'll have a look I'm going to swap it over I'll leave the camera rolling while I swap it over so that again you can see what's needed but it's a very similar pattern to this is one old one I kept of the 715 so yeah it's certainly a fiery fiery little tool in the uh, 1.3 but i'll be quite interested to see what it what it turns into when you uh when you change that setup so we'll have a look
Okay, so we've now transferred it over to a PRD510. So it's effectively a 1.9, a 1.0 PRD510. So let's see, get some clear on me. Let's see what we got. It's actually using less air, which you would expect, but not low. I would estimate that it's probably about 8 CFM because that one is about 10 CFM. But I'll leave it. I, I've been told that this should work at a lower pressure, but I'll leave it at 2 bar, which is 29 psi. But I think this works at about 1.5 bar, but I'll leave it at 2 bar to see. So let's have a look, see where we go. Oh, do me distance. Now you can definitely see it's a smaller pattern with less material coming out. Yeah, it's just just still it's still a good pattern, just less of it. Uh, this is actually a clear coat mixed with some uh, black tinter, so it doesn't give a you know a, a really defined pattern, but it gives a reasonable one. But you can see it's definitely putting out less material, which you would expect with using less air and a smaller tip, but. Yeah, it's, it's definitely uh, different. So I'm looking forward to seeing what it's like. As I say, I've, I, I've been told by somebody that's got one that uh, you can use, use these at a lower pressure. Uh, so we'll see. But that's what we've got anyway. And this is uh, a PRD 7.5, an old one I did. I just dug it out to give us a comparison. But anyway, guys, let's see if we do get two in one. Cheers.